Hey guys, let me turn on the light and I just want to let you guys see my turtle. He's eating. Oh, that's much better. Okay, here you go. I will shine the light on so you guys can see him eating. This is his habitat. I just got done cleaning it. This is what I have so far. And um, he's sort of eating. He was eating. <laughs> um, this is what I have so far. I don't know if you guys can see. This is a... I don't know if this is just a night bulb. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll go real close to it. It says, great choice. Something. I don't know what kind it is. And then I have this one. Where this one is the night one. So I put this one like that. I have a rack right here like this over and it's very light so it's doing good it's not um it's so light it's not even moving or nothing so it'll be all right until i can get the appropriate um cage for him so if you see this is the container can you guys see i can't even see if you guys can see okay so that's the container it's a plastic container it holds 40 gallons if you were gonna put it's either 30 gallons or 40 gallons and he's a baby so there he is eating he likes I just fed him so there was fresh water that was just put in and the food and the food is one making him it's a little messy but the water is clear it's clean and he's looking for food or something but as you see in the corner there is some lettuce I have the two rocks that are right here so he can come right here for basking then he has the the little baby rocks that are right there as you see those are the two rocks and there he is and he has his cooling side and that's where he goes to cool off And then he goes over there, he goes over here for warm side, and over here for the UV, UVB. What are you doing, buddy? I think I'm kind of scaring him, so let me back off. Wait, okay, he's okay, he's just walking back and forth. So let me just, I'm going to go ahead and turn off his heat lamp. Maybe that's just a little too much heat for him in a plastic container. So, let that cool off, and so yeah, that's what I have for right now. This is what I have, this is my setup, and I will be having this probably for months, because, um, like I said, you guys, I'm moving, and I have to be in my new place by November 1st. Today is like, I think it's, um... It's Saturday, so it's either, I think it's um September 22nd, 2018, today. So, like I said, you guys, I have to move. I have a, a new place I have to be by November 1st, and money is tight right now. I'm counting every my pennies. And you guys, have you ever, have you ever, um... When you did apartment complex hunting, you have to pay $35, $35, $35. Some are $20, some are $35. It's ridiculous, you guys. Ridiculous, the prices. I was paying $35, then I went to another apartment, paid $35, and then I went to another apartment, paid $20. That was within three-day or four-day period. That is ridiculous. So my money is like short, 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 short. My food amount is short, short, short. I'm like on my low budget to the littlest right now and I'm just money tight everything and the food the person that gave it to me was um a friend of mine I knew they were going out of town so I was like they moved to another another area so I was like yes that's too and they brought me the food they brought me the container they brought me the two big rocks and the little rocks and then they bought uh, they had brought me the food also so that one they brought me 
They had brought me this. They brought me this, uh, um, this turtle blend. I don't even know. It, this turtle blend doesn't even look like the turtle that, that I have. I have an Australian turtle. This looks like a already or slider so I don't even know if he's getting the the right food that he's supposed to be getting I don't even know I'm not even sure um hopefully he is it's an Australian snakehead turtle so I'm doing best I can I'm using that food for right now and then I'm giving veggies I, as you see in the corner right there I have lettuce carrots green beans, peas, and corn that I put. I just bag, you know, have veggies in the freezer. I took some of that out, threw it there. You know, you never know what a turtle will eat for veggies. <laughs> it's veggies, and you can't go wrong no matter what it is. It's veggies. Pretty much, he, the turtle eats. Um, I found out he eats uh, goldfishes or minnows. Is it called minnows? No. Rosies. Rosies? at the store or feeder fish and um I don't know I, I looked it up on Google and I googled it and they said they even they even eat rats they eat mice in the in they even eat what was the other thing they ate like all this stuff I googled it and all this stuff came up under Google and I couldn't believe it I was I'm sorry I have to move this real fast I was I was blown away for what all the things that it eats. It even eats birds that I found out. It eats mice, it eats rats. I mean turtles, I can't believe how much stuff they eat. And like we're at the grocery store picking out all the nice little things for turtles, you know, veggies or, you know, um, pellets in the bottles. And um, I, I know they eat mealworms. So I talked to the pet store and I called the pet stores, a couple of them, I called um, two of them. And they said that they eat um, mealworms and rosies and also feeder fish, goldfish, like, like feeder fish, like gold, those little gold feeder fish. So get a couple of those probably per week. Um, I heard they're like 40 cents. So if I put five in there and he's good for the whole week. So I was like, plus you give the dry food, plus you give veggies. And then I also heard that, um, See, he's so active, look. He's just playing. He's having a good time. He's got fresh water. And, um, he's got fresh water and everything. I just cleaned his container right now. I think he wants to go and walk around outside. I did take him on the grass outside. He did have some fun yesterday. Um, they said that, uh, they would take him and walk him around outside and in the grass and he'd walk and oh my god he's a scooter he'd scoot so fast he'd be scooting across the lawn like it ain't nothing yeah so this bl this black light right here this was mine I had this in the closet stored away in a box this is also mine this is actually a garage kind of thing and it had a light bulb in there but I I um put my UVB bulb and I put it inside there the socket and I'm using it like this. Let me tell you, if you have an imagination, <laughs> anything is possible in life. You can just put anything together, make things work. But I definitely, um, kids, children, do not try this at home. Because this right here is very unsafe to leave unattended while you go to the store. Unattended while you go somewhere or through the day. Um, I'm only using this while I'm at home. And I'm supervising it at all times. Um... I turn on the night this night light for about a couple hours so it warms up. Then after that I turn it off. I turn this this night light. This is during the day, so around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Uh 10:30 actually. I turn this off because this is UVB for the during the day. And then I turn this one on for the night. I leave it on about three hours and then I go ahead and because it warms up the thing and then I turn it off. And then I let it cool down, make sure it's completely cool because see it's on this rack right here. But it's it's cool. It's not even doing nothing. And then I will go ahead and, um, as you see, I uh, I let the the heater thing. Um, he's he was goofing off. He's always goofing off. <laughs> he's always goofing off.
off. He's so cute. I just love him too much. Um, you just want to give him a kiss and kiss him, kiss him, kiss him, but you don't want to kiss him. He's got, I heard that um, reptiles have salmon poisoning and you can get very sick. So kids that mom at home, do not kiss your turtles. <laughs> it's just a, a something to know and something to learn. Do not kiss your turtles. And I have not, but I just like blow kisses in the air saying, mm -hmm, I love you, I love you, I love you. So yes, that's awesome. So um, I let the, the this breath, I think, cool down and before I even go upstairs and go to bed. So um, yeah, so um, besides the application fees and going all to the apartment complexes and then um, getting the deposit up because they want 600 then plus 600 rent and then you have to call Duke Energy and this video is not sponsored by Duke Energy I'm just talking about it by the way and this video is not sponsored by Fookers um, for the food because um, I did show you guys that so it's not sponsored this video is not sponsored today let's just leave it as that and um, so yeah so all the application fees and then each one you go look at and then they're saying oh it's too early you have to wait till October to go ahead and do it I'm like oh my god really why didn't you guys tell me that sooner they cannot hold it for October um, for November 1st for me so I have to wait till it goes into October and then once it goes into October then I can go ahead and I can start going around searching again and then submitting applications for the next month and say I want it November 1st it's a mess you guys I'm telling you moving is a mess then I have to hire Moving trucks, I'm going to have to call U-Haul and then see how much that is or oh, it's hard you guys when you live alone and you don't have nobody um, like at home that's like, mm, I don't know, helping you. Sometimes you just feel like you just want to like, like, I don't know, if, if I had a husband or a man at home then I could just give it to him and let him take that off my shoulders, take that stress off of me. But I can't because I'm not married, I'm single, and I don't have a boyfriend. So, hey, there's, there's, sometimes there's a thumbs up to that and sometimes there's a thumbs down for that. I can't go ahead and give that stress to him and just let him, you know, deal with the U-Haul, deal with the boxes, deal with the mm, arranging for the trucks, deal with the arranging for the gas money to get all the stuff to the next house. You know, I guess that's the benefits of having a boyfriend. Him taking that weight off you and just like handling business. But some men are different than others. Um, some do help. Some are just different. I'll just leave it at that. Some are different. I don't even want to go into that discussion. That's a whole new other subject there. <laughs> but um, yeah. But it would be nice to feel that. To take that load off and um, him, a man take that load off of me. So I don't have to do y'all through this stressfulness. And um, let me tell you, you guys, money money makes things happen. Money makes life easier because you can hire the U-Haul trucks and hire them to show up and movers and then pay the, the company. And then they come here and then they just, you have everything in boxes and then they just start putting everything in the trucks. And you don't have to move everything. Remember, you guys, I'm still healing from a... A uh, fracture that I had in my back or not my back my spine or whatever it was I had two fractures that I was dealing with not and they says it will take six months or something or more to heal and I don't even know oh yeah it's been a year now so it's been past the five month mark or six month mark so hopefully I don't like hurt nothing or injure anything going down because I have my ten steps that I have to deal with and then I have I gotta carry him and get him to the new spot. Oh, look at this. He's just too cute. What are you doing, buddy? What you doing, buddy? How you doing? You having fun? Are you playing? Hmm? I'll go ahead and remove this because this one right here because I'm not using it. And I'll, I'll make sure the is it hot? I don't think it's hot. Um, let me feel it. No. I was going to move it, but it's kind of hot up here, though. So I'll just go ahead and leave it for a couple more minutes. But see, it's very light. And as you can see, 
you can see better. Can you see better? See? And, um, can you see better? Okay. It just looks a lot better when I take that off. But, yeah, I'm just, I'm just dealing with a lot right now. And then now I have to deal, handle with him in my life. And then I have my cat, Sylvester. Um, I did downsize a bit. Um, I did get rid of uh, some cages and I did rehome some pets to new homes and new environments because I am moving. So, and I'm doing this all by myself. So I do need to help myself out and not take that much stress and load to the next house because that's a lot of work taking each pet going up 15 or something stairs because it seems like where I live it's a lot of stairs a lot of apartments it has a lot of stairs so each pet would have to go up 15 stairs just to get to the apartment plus all my belongings plus all my furniture plus all my boxes and all my bags of clothes and believe me I have lots of bags of clothes so right now I have no help for you haulers and um if you guys can help out out there in the world and just like, oh my gosh, send a blessing, one dollar or whatever, or, you know, every little bit does help. Um, I do have a GoFundMe account because of the situation that I'm in with the, the, um, the water coming down the walls and the mud and all that that I am dealing with that's over there. They did not fix it. The mud and stuff here, I'll show you guys just to verify so you guys do see um, this right here. See, this is all mud, all this. I, don't, I could turn, let me see if I could turn on this light. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let me do a close up. Okay, you guys see that? Let me move my head. You guys see that? That's all mud. All the way coming down the walls. See all that? That's all flooding still. Um, There's just more and more and more. And see all that leakage up there? And then see this? Can you see this marking right here? That? I'll move my hand. Okay, you see that black mark? That right there is the crack opening because that is black mold. Okay, as I come up this way, see all that? That's all rain and everything. And so I'm moving because of this situation. That is the situation that I'm dealing with right now. So if you guys can go ahead and you guys can donate um, a, a dollar, whatever uh, you can. Um, um, I guess I found out that GoFundMe account, they take a percentage out um, of because of the account. Um, they take a percentage out of the amount of whatever it is and then they release it and I really don't know how to get the money out of the release I did put my address it my actual address of my house in the comments below um, when you press the little arrow button and then it shows about the description I have an email and I'm really hard I don't really don't check my email so but if you guys can if you guys can send anything probably it would be better then the GoFundMe account, I'm not sure how to, to withdraw. I have no idea. And then they take a big chunk out of it, 30% I found out. So uh, if you guys send it directly to my house, to my mailbox, um, I can go ahead, I have a bank account, I can go ahead and cash the check, and then I can use that towards the U-Haul. I could use that towards uh, deposit. I could use that for application fees of $35, $20 application fees to keep on going, to keep me going. Because uh, if there's no money, you're just stuck and you like, you know, <laughs> you freeze. So anything can help any little bit, you guys. Um, I need money to buy boxes to put stuff, boxes, but I found out you can get boxes in certain areas. So I'm going to go and try and get some free boxes. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. But one, a lot of people know the area of where they're at. So, boxes go fast. So, yeah, if you, anything, you guys, a dollar, whatever, please help your girl out. Send some uh, love. Put a thumbs up. A comment below. Um, and uh, just 
give me some love you guys a thumbs up comment below subscribe to the channel that's all i'm saying give me some love subscribe to the channel i'm sorry i've just been thrown off by all this stuff that's happening i've been very overwhelmed on what's going on and um yes i do have a mailbox and it is outside right outside the house um go ahead and you guys can grab my address that's in the description that's um, and just please, anything can help you guys, a dollar, whatever, just send it to my address. Um, in the description it says Nicole Grimes and then it says the address. Go ahead and check out that. And whatever you guys, you guys, let me tell you, it's a blessing. I love you guys. You guys are my fans. Love you so much. And you guys have a blessed day. And I will keep you updated on every little thing that's happening um, on the moving, on this little guy's scooter. Say bye-bye, scooter. Bye, Scooter. Say bye-bye. He's playing. He is so active. Yes, he's so active. He's playing. He's so happy right now. So anyways, that would be a blessing. And November 1st is when I'm going to be moving um, to my new place. So you guys, please send any love. If you guys do send it and you send it in the mail, send it before November 1st. And then the, he is giving me November 1st and 2nd to make sure all my things are out. So I'll be able to retrieve my mail of November 1st and November 2nd. And then, um, um, and then I'll put a change in address in to the new house and I'll probably put and then I'll put a new video up of, of my new house and what it looks like and if it's all good and if it's cool and if I actually made it to a new house. I hope I do um, with all the struggles. And you guys, anybody, can you guys help me? I'm trying to get the YouTube channel set up and everything. And I'm trying to get my, I, I think I got my YouTube channel set up, but I don't have the AdSense um, account set up. I don't know how to do that. It's saying connect the URL to the YouTube and then connect something and then make it happen and all that. And I don't know how to do that. So I don't know how to join the account from the AdSense to the Google. And then they're saying you need to put the commercials up or the ads up um, in the settings under something and I do not know how to do that so if you guys know anything about uh, Google AdSense and connecting both accounts please can you put the comment below um, mm, can help me uh, and give me some direction on how to do it because I really need your help that I need to get this channel set up I'm not getting no income or uh, stuff like this from this channel not yet it's still growing um, I just, it's growing, but I just don't know how to set up the account. And once I get the AdSense account set up, then everything will be set up and connected to the YouTube, then it will be wonderful. Then I'll be able to have a, a steady income coming in and um, that would be awesome. And uh, so I'm doing this just out of love right now. <laughs> it's straight out of, out of love because I don't know how to set the two accounts up together and connect them. So please help your girl out. Please let me know the information and I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.